You can hear it click. That's because it's snapping in place there. Now it's ready to be put back on. Uh, time to try to fire it up. See if it's work. Now again, I don't have a string on there yet, so we'll just have to see. Uh, I just want to see if it's going to ruin. The spring just adjusts the idle on it. All right, got a spring on there now. I ended up using just the original spring. I just stretched a little bit. Um, it was pretty good now. We'll start it up. but it's really clean now. I mean, that doesn't look like it, but it's stained. The filter is actually pretty new. Um, just got to let it dry now, and then I'm going to throw some oil on it, a little bit of oil on it, and throw her back in there. And then, well, while this is drying, I'll go ahead and start working on that one. All I got to do is pull the blade off of it and just fired up and if it doesn't shimmy or shake or anything the crank's not bent but if it vibrates really bad then the crank's bent on it and the motor's shot uh, so we'll have to just see what happens I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best I don't think it bent the crank usually it'll it'll shear that pin first but you never know all right well it's time to work on this one now you can see what happened there Um, I don't, like I said, I don't really think that the shaft's been done, and I think it's just a cheap-ass blade. So we're going to go ahead and take it off here. light. I don't think I've ever felt a blade that like that. But, alright, well, that's still in good condition. This is a different setup than what I'm used to. Usually there's a little, pe a little shear pin in there. This has a built-in one. Not a big deal. It's not like it won't work. I mean, obviously they designed it for a reason. But it's going to be time now to see if it's going to run without shimmying. 